what they've been doing, uh, a lot of drug dealing, a lot of violence, all gang related. You get stabbings, you get acid attacks and things like that. Scott and Dan, who we can't identify, are part of Essex Police's Operation Raptor unit, dealing with gang related crimes. We're seeing a lot of young youths uh, being recruited by this gang, and there's a lot of the younger youths that are in the town operating and doing the drug dealing. And it's them that have really been attracted by this drill music, the videos, the, uh, the flash cash, the jewellery, and they're being, in, they're being led by the elders of the gang. The area's biggest gang is C-17, and now nine of them have been served with civil court injunctions, banning them from three areas within the town. Several of the gang members are too young for us to legally identify, but these are four of those served with the banning orders. As we're travelling, we get news that one of them is in the town centre. Phil Montero is in the town, we've just searched him. Oh, where is he? This was filmed this Thursday, the day before the injunction was being served. Billy Monterio, who is hanging out here in a betting shop, won't be able to come here from now on. Bill, you going court? You going court tomorrow? Because he's been identified by police as a member of C17. I'm going court. I said it already. Leave me alone. C-17 has only come onto the police radar in the last 18 months and their arrival has been accompanied with unprecedented levels of violence in the town such as acid attacks and stabbings. Police have recovered knives and guns along with plenty of illegal drugs. Monterio denies having any association with the gang and is appealing against the injunction. Do you know these other people? These, these three others? People I see sometimes, I don't know them. You don't know them? Just see them. You don't know those... I can see in him, like I see him every day, we like say hi to each other. So you don't know any of these people? Well, how is it, how's it, looking at those areas that you're going to be banned from, how's that going to impact on your life? No, you can't ban me from here, you're not God from. This is a God land, you can't ban no one from God land. You're not God. They think they've got enough evidence to ban you Which because evidence? they think that you're selling drugs. They don't have no evidence. Do I look like a criminal to you? Well, your name's, on, your name's on here. I'm going to put a smiling face now. Do I look like a criminal to you? I, I don't, I don't categorise a criminal by looks. It's by what they do. OK, look at you. Do you look like a criminal? Depends what I've done. See? It depends on the law. what you... If you break you the law, mate, you're a criminal. It doesn't matter what you're well, When did I break the law? I never knew I broke the law. This is a relatively new innovation by Essex Police, first used by Merseyside Police, and the idea is to make life difficult for these gangs, restrict their use of mobile phones, stop them from accessing the areas where they're used to selling their drugs. Where they can't be put behind bars, the police are trying to disrupt their criminal activities. This is the C-17 drill music video. They will be banned from making those too. Police say they incite violence. They won't be allowed to wear hoodies or interact with each other on social media. Police suspect sexual exploitation is a problem too. We know these gangs are sexually exploiting um, young girls in particular. Um, some of the injunction, one of the conditions of the injunction will, will prohibit them being able to hang around, associate with people under the age of, girls under the age of 16 years old. Um, it's just one of, the, one of the measures that we've got, obviously, to, to make that difficult for them. It could be argued this is watered-down policing. The suspects feel victimised without facing proper prosecution, but nor are the gangs locked up. They could just move on. But Essex Police and the Council argues this is one way of having an instant impact on what is becoming a highly visible problem. And it will help local people reclaim their town centre. Jason Farrell, Sky News.